In this short video, I'll show you how to create a screen for CAQTDM that shows two motors uh, controls directly on it. These will be Synapse motors and we'll pick screens from Synapse to show on that. We're going to use the screens from the um, motor record, the Motor Tiny. So the basic CAQTDM setup that we're going to need is we need the CAQTDM display path set to where the motor screens are and that's in this long directory on my machine. We also need to make sure that we have the CAQTDM libraries installed and available so they're on this path that I've highlighted and if you take a look at the directory of that you'll find that you have control systems designer and the CAQTDM lib and QT controls libraries available. Let's take a look to see what screens are available in the motor support so we run a long listing of that from the command line we see that there's a lot of screens that are available motor status, motor trajectory, ensemble screens. We're going to make a a uh, CAQTDM screen that contains several instances of the Motor Tiny. And Motor Tiny is going to give us some basic controls to get to motor positions, but they're good for a high density screen that you want to create. So we're going to go and start the QT Designer from the command line, and I'll run it in the background with an ampersand. So I type that in, and let's start it up. Remember that when you create screens for CAQTDM, you're most successful if you choose a main window template rather than any of the other templates. So we choose main window on the new form and press the create button. First thing we want to do in a main window screen uh, is make it just a little bit smaller so that we can see all of the screen in one window. But you'll see that it has a menu bar and a status bar created by default. These are standard things for Q main windows. We want to take out both of those so the easiest way that I have is to go to the object inspector and look at that object. I want to right click that but maybe there's another way to delete to get rid of that object as well. Let's go shopping a little bit just to see. Okay I don't see the controls how to get rid of it right away so I'm going to right click on that myself and I'll say remove the menu bar and then go to the status bar and I'll remove that one too. So now we have a screen that has none of those extra declarations in it. What I want to do is create a screen that includes two motors on it with the controls that come directly from Synapse. So I'll go looking for the CA include widget. The CA include widget, ah, I got a message that I can save money at Micro Center. Okay, so we have the CA include widget is one of these down here. It's under the CAQTDM graphics. So I click that, I want to drag it out here into the window, and we'll leave its size alone because as soon as we load the Motorex Tiny UI file, this is going to auto size to exactly what the dimensions of that Motorex Tiny UI file are. So in order to pick that file, we have to go to the property editor over here on the right side, move the scroll bar down all the way down to where we want to pick the file name. And because this file will be on the path that we have, we can just type in motor x underline tiny dot ui. And you see, as soon as we completed the file name, we got an image of what the actual uh, screen looked like. So it's, we've embedded the display in our window directly. So we've typed in all that we need in order to get that but we still don't know what motor we're going to attach to yet we have to set the motor macros. So remember that for motors there's two macros there's a P macro and an M macro. P stands for the motor prefix which in our case is going to be XXX colon and the M macro will be the specific motor that will be M1. So now that we've created M1 we've got a widget here on screen let's make a second one of these and the easiest way to do that would be to copy click somewhere else and say paste. So now I have two widgets and if I click on it and try to drag it someplace I can drag them side by side. So that's the second widget and let's make that one be motor 2. So went over to the property editor, clicked on the macro list, let's click on the macro, go over and change it to M2, close that up and now if we go to the file menu and do a save as 2motors.ui 
just for fun. Okay, let's do one more thing. Let's make this screen just as compact as we possibly can. So we have two widgets on the screen. You select them with a click and a control click to get both of them. We want to set the Y coordinate to be zero, so it's they're pressed right up against the top edge of the screen. For the X coordinate, I want this one to go at zero, the left one. So I'll set its coordinate to be at zero. Let's note its width, 128. That's going to be the X coordinate of the second one. So it'll be just side by side. And so we know then the height of the main window is going to be 105. It was the height of this widget. So we set the height of the main window to be 105. And we know the width of the main window is going to be twice the width of one of these widgets. Twice of 128 is 256. That's an easy thing for a programmer to know. 256. So now we have a window sized exactly as large as we need. And we save that by typing Control S. So let's go down to the command line again. And we can say CAQTDM two motors dot UI. We'll run that. Start up CAQTDM, and there we have controls for two motors. And if I were to set that, tell that motor to move to 5, for example, you can watch the motor move. So let's pull up the controls for small. That's hard to move that, so we tab click on it to move the window around. Now if I tell that motor to go back to 0, you watch in both windows the same motor is moving. Thank you very much. You have two motors side by side.